Before loading any Demco car caddy, it must be completely and properly hooked up to the towing vehicle. Be sure that the car caddy's ball coupler is secured to a 2 inch ball rated at a towing capacity of 6,000 pounds. Check that the hitch and the hitch ball are in good condition and are not rusted, loose, or stripped. Demco's recommended ball height is 18 inches to the top of the ball. This ball height will provide maximum towing performance when the car caddy is loaded and under tow. Make sure that the car caddy coupler is locked down and secured with the supplied safety clip. Crisscross the supplied safety cables under the tongue and secure them to the towing vehicle frame. Remove the black locking pin before loading the vehicle onto the car caddy. The removal of the locking pin allows auto steer to operate. When towing the tow dolly empty, this pin must be in place. Before loading and unloading a towed vehicle, make sure the platform and the towed vehicle are in straight alignment. Important! The towing vehicle must be larger and at least 1,000 pounds heavier than the tow dolly and towed vehicle combined. The overall width of the towed vehicle must not exceed 76 inches maximum outside to outside for the Car Caddy SS and Car Caddy 3 models. Do not exceed 70 inch maximum width outside to outside for the Demco Toa 2. Grasp the auto latch bed release handle on the tongue and pull toward the coupler. This releases the tilt bed to permit loading a vehicle. With someone safely guiding you, slowly drive the vehicle onto the platform front forward. Any vehicle mounted on the tow dolly must be mounted with the front of the vehicle facing forward. Drive the car forward until the tires touch the ramps. And make sure the tire is aligned to ascend onto the ramps. Next, drive the vehicle onto the platform front forward until the tires touch the wheel stops at the front of each side of the platform and the platform tilts to a flat position. Make sure the car is centered on the platform. The towed vehicle tires must fit in the wheel troughs without overhanging the sides. Engage the towed vehicle parking brake. Shift the loaded car into park and lock the steering wheel with the front tires in a straight position. If the car does not have a locking steering column, the steering wheel must be tied securely with the front tires in a straight position. For rear wheel drive cars, disconnect the towed vehicle drive shaft for rear wheel drive vehicles with automatic transmissions. For manual transmissions, consult your vehicle owner's manual for towing suitability with the drive shaft connected. Place one tie down strap over each tire and secure the hooks to the rods located at the rear of each wheel platform. Be sure the tie down winch is centered with the tire before tightening the straps. Begin tightening the strap, making sure the tail becomes enclosed by the strap coming over the tire. Tighten the straps, ensuring that the strap fed through the slot binds between the shaft and the strap being wound onto the winch shaft. While tightening straps, pull cross straps forward to ensure even tightening and be sure to tighten the straps until each tire starts to flatten against the tire stop. After each strap is tight, insert a safety pin in each winch. You may then disengage the towed vehicle parking brake. The straps must be retightened after the first five miles of travel. Then check the straps every 50 miles thereafter to ensure they are tight and not rubbing or fraying. Make sure the tie down strap is the correct size for the auto tire. Contact Demco or check our website for the proper fit and exchange instructions at www.demco-products.com. Hook the towed vehicle safety chains to the frame of the vehicle directly above the area where the chains are mounted on the car caddy. Leave some slack in the chains to allow the suspension movement 
of the towed vehicle. You are now ready to tow.